Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Empire Earth. I'm still at your. I'm a serious JG. Yeah, we had a little bit of uh, difficulty to overcome here with uh, being constantly under attack. Yes, Commander. Of course, sir. We've got Germans bombing us like nobody's business. What do you need? Be right there. Yes, Commander. Of course, sir. You know how to repair that thing? Yeah. The Germans have, uh... Not the Germans bombing us. We've been bombing. We are the Germans. You are never... Yes, Commander. Sorry. I just... I somehow ended up having planes over at these hangars. And I don't think I can ever get them to go. They won't go to other hangars. I, I don't know a way to get them to switch hangars, so they're just eating up population limit for me at this point. Which is why I think we'd be better off. Man. They're not giving up on this. Yes, Poor guy. Of course, sir. I think we're at the point now where it's just airplanes coming up here. I don't think, uh... What do you need? I don't think they really have the ability to get, uh ground troops up here anymore. But anyway, we want to, uh... Ready, sir. Of course, sir. Jesus, it's getting maddening. It's like I need even more planes. Uh, wow. They finally killed uh, one of my infantry here. This is kind of an unending madness. They killed one infantry in all of this. But, whatever. Sadly, we can't really do any, uh... Anything useful about this. Let's, uh... How may I serve you? Yes, Commander. Go yes, ahead. Commander. Let's get you guys down here, uh... How may I serve you? Yes, Commander. Mine coming down. Sehr gut. Try to get you down here without, uh, hopefully... Yeah, I knew we'd lose control of them, because uh, I guess we just had troops parked there. So, we'll have to see. Like, if they keep moving, maybe they won't get hit with artillery. Oh. I guess there's more. More Brits who showed up over here. Well, let's kill off whatever Brits are still hanging out over there. So maybe it wasn't artillery. Maybe it was, uh. Yeah, like random Brits like that guy. We're just hanging out. I mean, do they just occasionally spontaneously generate, or were there just 
individuals that didn't get aggroed in prior battles and just continue to hang out forever. Roger. Because I would have thought we got them all. Whatever. Ten four. Your command. So be Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Well, we're back at the population limit again. Tanks got a little ways to go. I'm not as sure that we lost troops now to hidden artillery. It may be that we simply lost troops because of uh, just some British troops hanging out in the woods here that we didn't notice. Yes, Commander. How may I serve you? Well, the British guys were coming out of here. They got killed by artillery, I guess. Mine coming up. Your command? How Your may command? I serve you? They'll rule that How Your may command? I serve you? So be it. How Your may command? I serve you? All right. They'll rule that day. Go ahead, yes, Commander. Yeah, I'm starting to think I was... I thought I heard artillery firing from over here. Well, there's airplanes about. How may I say? Yes, Commander. Ten four. Mine coming up. I think we might be better off hanging the southern coast, and we'll find out what kind of defenders were up here later. How may I say? So be it. Your command, they'll rule the day. Your command will rule the day. How may I say? Oh, I don't know why we are so British. We sound like some core kind of British from like the pirate times or something like that, but we're obviously Germans. How may I serve you? So be it. I suppose we could be, uh, from Austria, Hungary, might, or uh, perhaps we're supposed to be Ottomans fighting in France. So. How may I oh, serve you? Ten four. Mine coming down. Sehr gut. How may I serve you? Ten four. Mine coming down. Gut. Yeah, I do believe this army will do it. How may I say? Mine coming down. Sehr gut. Mine coming down. Sehr gut. We are under attack. Uh, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Why do they have so much better tanks? 85 plus 26. Actually, mine are better. They've got the model of tanks from a later uh, era. Yeah, so a lot of losses there already, but, uh... This will be a pretty important fight here in a moment. Oh, wow, these, uh... Their tanks don't give a fuck about what our, uh... Partisans have to throw at them. Those officers sure did a good job of healing them up. I think this might actually be it. 
Getting rid of those air, the British airfields, it's just been insane. Like, they just have infinite capacity to produce airplanes. Maybe I would too if I was playing that way, but it didn't feel like I was ever able to get an advantage over them no matter what. So let's just move around and try to find everything. There's see planes stuck in the wall. Your command no coming May in fact be it. Who's attacking us? Did we hit ourselves there? Not clear on who's hitting us. Yeah, I think we're hitting ourselves with artillery. How may I Been pretty quiet from the airplane front. I think this may actually be it. Ready. Right away. Okay, so we have to hold this place. Ready, sir. Ready. How can I help? Yes, Commander. How can I help? Ready. Can't really afford to abandon, uh... So you could have, uh... Well, if my unit's heading up here, I just feel like there's, uh... How may I units up here we could be fighting. I feel like there were defenders up here that we maybe they got pulled out or maybe we just missed them or maybe Go never mind they're they are real I wasn't wrong of course we're gonna take losses here by climbing up here into their presence all right so i wasn't crazy they were here but like even this which was out of the way of Ger uh, the british air traffic it took a ton to get rid of that stuff um, and uh, bombers did seem like the logical way to do it, but uh, this is the impenetrable force. I don't think there was any sneaky other way to do this map. How can I help? Oh, I didn't get you started. Oops. Okay. I don't think they will make it in time to help, but uh, right away. this is what we have to do to wrap this up. So we're definitely not going to get a full 30-minute video this time. But Your command, they'll rule Go that ahead. day. Roger. Mine coming down. Sehr gut. Oh, never mind, which one? 
At the pinnacle of our victory comes the lowest of news. Freiherr von Richthofen was shot down over our means. Oh, that's too he bad. is dead. A single bullet through his heart. Yasta 11 has returned to cover our lines. Okay. Already, a new man flies at the head of the Richthofen squadron. He's got giant goggles. May he be as great as his predecessor. My name is Hermann Göring. As of this moment, I am taking charge. All right, well, thanks for that, uh, Age of Empires. Thanks for... Thanks for having a hero unit briefly exist for Hermann Göring. But, I mean, I, I guess uh, if I'm going to be worried about playing as the Nazis, uh, probably need to figure that out, because that's where we're going uh, next, I believe. So we're playing the German campaign. I think we're going to be playing missions as the Germans. Okay, so the... I think the British just spontaneously get three soldiers hanging around over here every so often. But they don't necessarily go on offense. So... Oh, and there was a uh, machine gun guy we missed at some point. I don't think they just spontaneously generate. I think he was just there. But uh, yeah, it, it, both on screen and off screen, we were harassed by artillery that was up on this ridge. But uh, I don't know that they did that much to us. Uh, the ones that were all the way over here probably did some damage. The ones that were over here, I doubt it, because we didn't try to fight our way through these defenses. I already kind of knew that we had, uh... You know, they put they put these, uh... barbed wire stuff here, but really, it's like... Your troops can't climb this, uh... This... From this side. So, really, it's like, you could get kind of... Tri like, if you tried to... Go to, um... Mondidier first, or or before uh, taking on Royale with cheese or whatever it's called, uh, Royer. Then uh, yeah, you would just run into like you'd run into a bunch of trouble fight, trying to fight your way past them, but it wouldn't have made any difference. Like you can't get over here; you have to follow this path down. So these guys, and they give you like yeah, you can set up a whole new town over here and start going. These these guys over here were definitely. Definitely was losing in my off-screen efforts. Uh, like, I launched with a full pop army and attacked and still didn't take Royer because I would just lose, like, 20 or 30 infantry at a go while fighting in this, like, choke point uh, death zone. That's why I thought there was artillery up here. And there might have been that were taken out by our artillery at some point. Uh, but, yeah... It does look like they just occasionally get new troops over here. Because, you know, presumably there's British army over in this direction. How can I help? You, what the heck was going on with you? You were bring. oh wow. At some point this game, the game really got confused. I had, uh, somebody gathering wood for one of these camps was, uh, Oh, here's the thing that we never ran into. There are naval mines that would blow up your transports if you tried to use transport ships. You could use transport ships, but uh, they were kind of a problem. So you must have been assigned to gather wood f for, like, this village somehow. Wow, that's kind of crazy. We had our little pillboxes that we set up here. And then realize, oh, hold on, if we just advance a little bit, there was a line here that was, like, actively fighting for a long-ass time. But really, what made this one so insane... So this may have been where... This is where the Hermann Goering... Where Manfred von Richthofen... So these were, this was for, um, for cinematic purposes, because there's Irvin Rommel. I don't know why Irvin Rommel is here. I guess this is Manfred von Richthofen, but in the cinematic he identified himself as Irvin Rommel. 
I don't know, but yeah, the game will do this. It'll give us these little weird uh, areas that can't actually be accessed so that you can do cinematics on them. So this got used at a cinematic at some point in, in, in this, uh, and I don't remember it. And we had a big old British force up here that we had to take out. But that one took forever. But guys, World War I, I believe, is over. And I guess Germany won. So, yay. But this is, uh, I had the most hotkey presses. We had the highest citizen count. The British Flyers had five citizens, but they were decorative. I don't know where they were. They weren't actually doing anything. Because um, they don't actually track stuff like... Um, yeah, the, the British Flyers lost 490 units. But the... We lost more than and than the French did because the French hardly like this really was a weird battle between England and Germany and France. The British Flyers had the largest army because they you know would just well no I had my population limit but I always had uh, I had um, what do you call them uh, citizens. So the British Flyers had a bigger army than I did. It was insane. They just, they appear to have infinite resources. Right, let's get rid of... Unguarded building was just... Okay, forget about that. Forget about French towns. This was the group we killed at the end. They, they just didn't get up and running like the Royer defenders were actually actively attacking after we took uh, the first city. I don't know what this one is. I guess this represents uh, the guys in the cinematic, so we'll take them off. All right, so this is the army that attacked us. So there were some guys who would come and attack us when we were trying to stay hidden. Then an army appeared that we had to go take out. Once we took them out, then they suddenly spiked. These would be the guys. This was the force that attacked from the east and tried to, you know, cut our forces in half. But also, this was the force that it would just have guys spontaneously generate occasionally. And then, as you saw, we built up and then, you know, would attack, lose guys, attack, lose guys. So we were kind of at this 69 to, we were hovering around between, you know, 50 and 80 at all times. But uh, the really strange force in all this is British Flyers would just have this ludicrously high population. Didn't really make a whole hell of a lot of sense. But we got it done. Army size over time, citizen count over time. Oh, there we go. So coming up next, and I started playing this one uh, a little bit, goofing around at my parents' house, and was having some trouble, to tell you the truth. So I'm not sure how well this will go, or how smoothly it'll go. But up next is Lightning Warfare. So I'm assuming that this... Well, I'm not assuming. I do happen to know this next one is... World War II. So Germany has now won World War I with their huge victory at the Battle of the Somme, uh, where they defeated an infinite respawning army of um, British flyers. It's like doing uh, All In, the last mission of StarCraft Wings of Liberty, uh, and choosing the one where you get rid of the Nidus Canals, but then you leave the Leviathan alive so it infinitely spawns mutalisks forever. That's kind of what we were up against. But uh, we won't be up against an infinite Buddhist next time. We will be up against... Um, well, all of Europe, because as uh, Norm MacDonald has pointed out, the late great Norm MacDonald, yeah, Germany decided to go to war, and it, it, for its opponent, it chose the world. And the problem was, it was close. So we'll see if we can make Germany win World War II next time, although I'm not sure why World War II is happening, since they won World War I. And you wouldn't think that the environment that existed in Germany that caused World War II 
do would have happened. But maybe we'll get some explanation next time. I kind of doubt it, though. See you then.